Ain't It Cool News presents Ain't It Scary Reviews, a month-long exploration of terror. reassuring about teen horror movies from the 80s. Most of them uphold the conventions of their genre. You know that the virginal heroine is probably going to make it out okay. There's usually at least one sex scene, and whoever's involved in it will surely die a terrible, miserable death. Chances are the whole thing is scored by a Casio keyboard, and a boombox or a ghetto blaster will show up at some point to play a rock and jam while white kids awkwardly dance. Night of the Demons follows these rules to the letter, making for a familiar but fun popcorn movie. It's Halloween night, and your familiar high school character archetypes decide to party at an abandoned funeral home outside of town. There's the chaste, sugary sweet girl, the preppy boyfriend, the tough yet misunderstood slimeball, the fat party animal who can't get enough to drink, the slut, the goth, the black guy. You get the idea. When these kids, kids, all of them look like they're in their late 20s, when these characters converge on the abandoned funeral home, they unknowingly unleash a dangerous spirit. A ghostly creature infects each person, one by one, turning them into supernatural, bloodthirsty maniacs. The night turns into a frantic fight for survival, as they are haunted and stalked by the bodies of their former friends. I would call this movie routine, but that does it an injustice. It delivers on all of the promises a fan of this sort of genre can expect. There are gory deaths, shots of boobies for no real reason, people getting chased through a haunted house by demons, terrible, generic dialogue. Well, Alice, looks like we're all alone in Wonderland. People set on fire. Some cheap startle scares. <laughs> you jerkbag. It's all here for you. But what makes Night of the Demons work is its adherence to these cliches, and it does each of them with an above average horror acumen. You get exactly what you pay for here. Sure, the main character's screams get a little annoying by the end of the picture, and there really is no reason for characters so different, so alienated from each other to hang out together on Halloween, but who cares? This isn't Scorsese. This is a low-budget scream fest from the director of Pinocchio's Revenge and Witchboard 2, The Devil's Doorway. Whether it's over-delivering on its promise of cheap thrills, or underselling itself on the VHS cover, Night of the Demons is a solid addition to the teenage horror genre of the late 80s. 